Hey everyone, welcome to Crepe Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. I'm so glad you stopped by today. This is my first thrift haul of the new 2023 year and got a lot of stuff. So this one's probably going to be a little bit long. And if you'll stay tuned to the end, I'll do a little bit of chit chat with what's been going on and everything and you know what I'm hoping to be doing this year. And you know, just little life update, I guess. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to do so. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload because I don't upload on a schedule. And that way you'll know when it happens because I might do one a week. It might switch up and, you know, it might be a few weeks before I get one up. It's just depending on what my schedule is going to be. You probably heard a dog in the background. I have the window open <laughs> or the sliding door open. If you've watched my videos anytime, you know that it seems like the minute I start filming, I start having hot flashes or something. I don't know. And I know some people said, maybe it's the ring light. Well, that's an LED light. So I don't think it's putting off heat. It's just, I don't know what it is, but I am like the minute I set this up to start filming, I start feeling it. So I opened up the door. It's 35 degrees outside. So maybe that'll keep me cooled off. <laughs> Who knows? But anyhow, let's just get right into this. All right. The first thing, and I got this in an estate sale. <clears throat> Sorry if that gets too loud. Is this bowl. And it had some of the like glass grapes in it. And... It was five dollars at then it's I mean it's pretty used cracked and all but I love that um, green stripe and I don't know if y'all remember last year I thrifted a little picture that had this same it was a match to this and all and so this will always go in my decor somewhere love that so it was this green picture and I think it was like two dollars or something like it maybe should have had a lid i don't know but i just loved it and it would go in my decor and then they had all of these the green handled vintage utensils i have a lot of red ones but i don't have green and i don't know why i have not been collecting the green because my hooser cabinet actually is the green um, the metal top has the green stripe on it, which matches this. But I have always collected the red. And normally I have like a long dough bowl in the middle of my dining room table here. And I display these kind of things in that. So I will just mix it in with the, with the red. Okay, these next two items I bought at antique stores. And they were kind of my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> because my husband and I, I mean, we've been married this coming or this year in May will be 36 years and we've been together 40 years this year. So we're at the point in life that we do not feel the need to be buying presents at Christmas for each other. You know, it's like he's always buying what he wants. I'm always buying what I want and just trying to figure out, OK, let me buy something that he wants that he hasn't already went and got his sale or whatever. We just, we don't do that. So we made this agreement a couple of years ago that, you know, starting in January, I mean, in December, we pretty much, you buy what you want you for Christmas, I'll buy what I want me for Christmas. And I don't have to wait to Christmas to get it. I can, throughout the month of December, we both kind of like shop on Amazon or go get things we want. And, and it, we have found so much enjoyment in that because it's like the whole month we get to celebrate Christmas and get the things that we want. And it does not bother us one bit waking up Christmas morning without something to exchange because we look back at what we got and we really love. So, And I know we could say, oh, well, I want this. You can give me that for Christmas. But then I have to wait to Christmas. I don't want to wait to Christmas. I want it now. <laughs> so anyhow, these two items are my Christmas present to myself. So this is a quilt top. It hasn't been finished, but I don't care. I just use these for decoration anyhow. And I love, love that pattern. And it was only $30. 
which is crazy because some of the quilts in my area are like a hundred and something or more, but just love that one. Then the next one is, again, another quilt. And I loved, loved the real pastel spring look of these. And this one would actually fit on my um, spare bedroom or guest bedroom bed if I wanted it to. But those were a couple of things. I have a couple of more things that were my Christmas present to myself. That was $30 also. And by the way, we don't have a, we don't say there's a, a budget, you know, it's like, Hey, I'm, I'm waiting. This, this is my time of year. I'm treating myself for Christmas and he does the same. And who knows what we're going to end up getting, but we don't, we don't set a budget to it. You ought to try it. It's actually kind of fun <laughs> to do it like that. Okay. The next item is this little glass bottle. I just love unusual bottles and I love that color. And I think I paid like $2 for that one. And then this next piece, it's one of those drink dispensers and it was half off. So I ended up getting it for $6 and I love that it's the hobnail kind of finish. And this is going to come in handy because this is going to be a very busy year for me. I have my son getting married in the end of April and my first grandbabies do the beginning of May. So there's like two weeks difference of gaining a daughter and gaining a grandson. <laughs> so I'm excited for all of that. And I have two showers. I've got one in February to, to give and then one in March. So I'm, you'll see some other pieces that I'm trying to gather up to um, use as serving pieces and all with these showers, a baby shower and a bridal shower. But that was one of the pieces I got. <clears throat> the other kind of Christmas gift to myself was the lady head base. And she has a little, her fingers broke bare and her thumbs broke bare. But I can, you know, display her in a way that you're probably not going to notice. So I could probably even take a little bit of clay and just make a little piece and paint it and, you know, glue it on so you wouldn't notice it. But I have a whole collection of these and they've been stored away for a little while. I'm going to get them back out. And when I do, I'll do a video showing y'all those, but I just loved her. And I think it was $25 for her, which if you collect these or know anything about them, that's cheap. They're usually in the hundreds of dollars. But got her, and then this bag of things are all um, brooches that are like Christmas related, like little Christmas trees, and they were a dollar and a half a piece. Um, the little bell. There's a little wreath. There's just all, there's all kinds of them here. Um, little holly, there's a little toy soldier. I think there's another um, tree. What I'm wanting to do with these is I've seen in an antique store where people take the brooches and they make them into the shape of a Christmas tree on a like a velvet background in a nice picture frame and I love that idea. Okay this next piece was five dollars. It's like a piece of milk glass and it looks like it was like a little dish container, or I mean, or maybe had like a little glass globe or something on it. I don't know, but I thought it would be pretty as a pedestal to sit a candle on or something like that. But I just loved, loved the detail and I love milk glass. And then these next two pieces, I paid a dollar a piece for them and they're just the little dogwood candle rings and those will come in handy during Easter time. Okay, the next piece I have is another lady head vase. However, this one's more like a young girl or a teenage girl. I just thought she was adorable and I paid $29 for her. All my other ones are like adult women lady head vases like the one I just showed you. This is the first one I have bought that is like a young girl, but I thought she was so pretty. And she's big enough that what I'm thinking about doing is using her 
um, like where I put my makeup on. I don't have a vanity. It's in the middle of my closet. I stand up and there's a shelf there and that's where I put my makeup on. And I thought how pretty to put um, most of my brushes that I use in her. And also I have something pretty to look at while I'm trying to make myself more presentable. Okay, then the next, I know I love my chickens and milk glass. So here's the little, and it's still got the clone in it. I would hate to know what that smells like if it got opened up. But anyhow, I paid a dollar for it. Love that. And then I found some of these. I paid a dollar for the roll. It's just like the wired ribbon that's kind of gathered. And I got three rolls of this because I love gingham check. And it will come in handy for many uses, I'm sure. Christmas or, or whatever. And if y'all have noticed, I've already got most of my Valentine's decor up. I am waiting on a tree that I have ordered. Um, a pink four-foot pencil tree that I am going to decorate for Valentine's. I have like a silver tree that I've used in the past, but I saw this pink one on Amazon and I really like it and I knew I could use it for Valentine's and at Easter, I, if I want to do my Easter tree again this year, it will go well with that stuff. So I'm waiting on that. Once that comes in, I will do a, a tour of all my um, Valentine's decor, which is just here in the dining room. Okay, the next thing, and I paid $2 for that, it's just this little dish here. I like this. I use stuff like this in my bathroom to stick toothbrushes and stuff in. Right now, I have some milk glass ones in there, like little cups, but I may um, switch it out and use this one. I love it. And then, for all of you that are chicken lovers, got this big piece, and I paid eighteen dollars for this. It was at a and it was a thrift store, but it was like a hospice house um, type of thrift store. They mainly helped. Um, or not hospice house, it was one that they helped women with breast cancer and stuff. So they had really nice things. It was not like a Goodwill where stuff is just thrown on the shelves. It looks like an antique store when you walk in there, very well displayed. And then prices are a little bit higher on some things, but I don't mind paying that when it's a good cause like that. But I just loved this one because I love jadeite green and this is a jadeite green color and also be so pretty and speaking of the jadeite green I paid 99 cents for the little bunny and it's jadeite green and then this next piece y'all know my strawberry love and this one says grandmothers are very special and seeing as I'm gonna be a grandma for the first time this year I had to have that one <laughs> love it and I can't wait for him to get here I'm so excited he is going to be so spoiled. And then the pink doily for 50 cent. And as you can see, I like my doilies. All right, let's see here. And I mentioned that, you know, I bought up some other pieces to do the, the showers with. Well, this was one of them, this silver platter. And it's actually like a Lazy Susan. And it needs polishing and stuff like that. And I paid um, $7.99 for it. But I thought that would come in handy for displaying food and stuff like that. And then this one too. This one was $2.75. It's a glass little platter. And I just, I love the way it's like blown glass almost or something. And that would come in handy for displaying food. You know, you put your sandwiches or... Or whatever on those okay last thing I have that I'm gonna show you today is this cookbook that I picked up and it's made by Roxy Kelly and friends y'all you need to find you these cookbooks you can find them on thriftbooks.com you can find all kind of books there they're really cheap on there they're about $4.95 I think something like that I looked up and found mine for a dollar at a thrift store but I love her cookbooks. She's got very good recipes, but look at the graphics on these cookbooks. They are just, I love them. Especially if you like to display your cookbooks out in a holder or something. 
I mean, cause they're all look like hand, handwritten and um, I've tried a few recipes and I really enjoy them, but I love her cookbooks. And this is probably about the fourth or fifth one I have of hers. <laughs> You know, I, I found one at a thrift store and then I found another one and I really loved them. So I went on to, um, like I said, thriftbooks.com. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. They just, that's just who I like to find books at. And I found some more. I just um, put in her name and then found more of her books and then just started ordering them. So that's all I have for this haul. I know it's a very long one, <laughs> but it's the first one of the year and stuff. And I'm not going to be on a schedule this year. As I mentioned earlier, it's going to be quite a busy year for me coming up with the showers and the weddings and the baby and all that stuff. And I do still have my Etsy shop. There's very few items in it. It, it blew my mind how much of it sold out, especially like after Christmas. There was some things I had in there. I thought, well, they're not ever going to sell. And sure enough, they sold like a couple of days after Christmas, or, or actually January the 1st, I had a sale, and then January the 2nd, I had another sale, so I thought, hey, eating those collards <laughs> on New Year's Day pay, I'm, the money's <laughs> coming in now, so I have got a lot of work that I need to do on getting a lot of things listed, I mean, I have tons of inventory that I've got to get listed on that Etsy shop. And so that takes up a lot of time to do that. So, like I said, I don't know how much videos that I'll do. I know I'll definitely be doing room tours when I change out for the seasons and stuff. And as I get enough things um, accumulated for thrift hauls, I will be doing those. But just again, have the notifications turned on if you subscribe to me and then you'll know when I put out a video. But the other things I was going to talk about. Like I said, the chit-chat part. Christmas for my family was rough this year. <laughs> um, not only was it the one-year anniversary of my mother-in-law's passing, she passed last year Christmas morning. So, you know, we we had that. You know, it's just like the one-year anniversary is always like the toughest one to me with a with a loved one like that so we were going through that and then i had a few family members who had the covid <laughs> and so we weren't able to get together with everybody and it it was a little it was a little tough <laughs> you know everybody being sick and it seemed like even those who didn't have covid they were going through you know with the cold and stuff it was just it was it was an unusual one and you know as i mentioned earlier in this video the hot flashes Going through the change, I'm 54, going to be 55 this year. And let me tell you, it is rough some days. <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all have commented and told me, you know, hey, I'm right there with you. I know what you're going through. I've dealt with the, the hot flashes, you know, feeling like I'm going to instantaneously combust at times, especially at night when I'm sleeping. But the emotional hormone roller coaster that I have been on in the last couple of months is about to drive me insane. I mean, I've always had you know, a little bit of the, you'd be a little emotional, like easy to upset or whatever, you know, want to cry for no reason, whatever thing. But then I had a new one come up and it's the agitation. <laughs> I have just been a monster I know to live with because I can't hardly really stand myself some days. And it's it's like so angry and agitated for no reason whatsoever. Just like want to bite everybody's heads off. My poor husband, bless his heart. You know, thank God he loves me as much as he does because I don't know how he has put up with me. You know, and just even with my daughter, when, you know, we were talking about planning the showers and I was just like, ah, I don't want to do this and that and that. And she's like, well, gosh, mom, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> and it wasn't really that. It was just at that moment, I didn't. At that moment, it was just like, I didn't want to do nothing. And, you know, all of a sudden you wake up one day and that's past. 
and you feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders and and then i started getting excited about the shower and i caught her and she's like whoa what happened to you <laughs> you you're totally different and i had to explain to her you know this this dr jekyll mr hyde that i had become <laughs> so anyhow that was what i've been going through so and i can't take hormones because i have a blood clotting disorder so you're not allowed to take any kind of hormone but if you have any tips, like if there's something natural that there's out there that works, please let me know because this is driving me insane. You know, I was very naive in thinking, you know, going through the change is only going to take a couple of years, maybe. No, I have been told that this will last, could last the rest of my life. Maybe not as intense as it is right now, but there will be moments that it will continue to happen but right now it is like the last few months have been horrible for me and I, i'll take all the advice i can get on <laughs> the weight gain everything that comes along with it is just been crazy so if y'all have any advice or any tips please leave them in the comments below i i need i need to know that i'm not alone in this <laughs> or how, how to deal with it when you can't take the hormones that the, you know, a lot of people can take to help them get through this. I guess I just have to suffer. I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope y'all have a very blessed day and a good start to your new year. And like I said, just keep, keep watching, keep tuned um, to see what I have coming up next. Bye.